Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a mi canal. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below. Today we're gonna talk about um, how there's some resources out there that um, help us out. Like, the, have you guys ever heard about the Humane Society? Well, yes. Sometimes we don't know, and we just wanna. We end up spending a lot of money. Well, the Humane Society has a lot of resources. When I found out, I like since then I've been taking my puppies there. Like for example, they have days that are like the rabies clinic, and they put shots, their first shots, the warming shots for five dollars, ten dollars. Um, they have a lot of deals like that. So if you in your city, I'm sure they have one. Um, log on, check on Facebook or check on online to see what they offer because for example mine my puppy I I just got Frida the Humane Society they stay open with donations our um, Harningen office has a little puppy there where you could donate money so they could help out and maintain those or they don't have to they get rid of them when they don't get adopted so that's why I like so, the Humane Society they also neuter your animals for a lower fee than going to a vet yes I recommend everybody to check your local cities to see if you have the Humane Society there and um, so you could check what resources they have and they offer for any vaccines anything dealing with your little animals and that they're all at a cheaper price than a, a regular vet uh, my puppies do have a vet and I take them to it but every time we get out of there it's about $200 that we spend um, on them and there's certain things that we could get at the Humane Society that are a little less pricier than that so since when I got Frida I, I decided to take her to the Humane Society to get microchips which, which is the little chip that they put in underneath their skin it sounds all traumatic right it sounds really bad but it identifies your puppy with you and if somebody finds her and it gets taken to the Humane Society or Se Lo Lleva La Perrera um, they could scan it and it will come out your name, your address, your phone number, your contacts you put there they all come up and they, um, they're able to identify your puppy with you and they call you and ma'am come pick up your puppy we found her or somebody found her and brought her in that's super cool and like i took frida to go get that um, microchip the microchip does identify your puppy with you in all over all over let, let's say the vet from brownsville gets a puppy gets your puppy like she gets frida and um they scan it and it comes out my name comes out and I, it identifies the puppy with me so it it doesn't stay it's not something that stays here locally it goes all over it's in our website and you're able to manage that let's say you change addresses um you're able to log on and change your address and your phone number if you change your phone number the Humane Society had a deal and um, you would go and make a line and you would get a voucher. Well, we took Frida the first time. We took her to try to get that um, microchip, but they ran out of them. So they gave us a voucher and it was valid for the $5 um, to get the microchip for $5. The last time I microchipped Mia and Oliver, my my two older pugs, I'm not sure, but I think it was about $20. 
so it was a little bit more expensive there also in the humane society but um this time was a deal i couldn't pass by so for cinco dollar i went we made a line and we got that voucher somebody's getting microchipped yay y este es el voucher five dollar microchip de la humane society Cinco dólares de microchip, un cupón de descuento. Y aquí está Harlingen Humane Society. Graba, así graba y, eh. y que se vea lo que Pero ¿qué le prendo? ¿Qué le prendo? Nada, ya está prendido. Ok, hold her head. Okay. A ver. O sea, nada más lo que, que salga Frida. The Humane Society also um, does clinics. They they stay open with donations. So if you're there, like they have a little puppy, our our um, Harlingen office has a little puppy there where you could donate money so they could help out and maintain those puppies so that they don't have to kill them or they don't have to get rid of them when they don't get adopted so that's why i like so the humane society they also neuter your animals for a lower fee than going to a vet So um, you take them there and you, they neuter them if you want them neutered. I think that's how you call it. Si los quieres tapar, pues los puedes llevar ahí. But anyway, so yes, I recommend everybody to check your local cities to see if you have the Humane Society there and um so you could check what resources they have and they offer for any vaccines anything dealing with your little animals and that they're all at a cheaper price than a, a regular vet um, my puppies do have a vet and i take them to it but every time we get out of there it's about 200 that we spend um, on them And there's certain things that we could get at the Humane Society that are a little less pricier than that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this information has helped you out a lot. I hope you didn't get offended because of the videos of Frida getting um, her microchip. And um, she was okay after that. It did hurt her at that moment. After that, she was like nothing had happened. She was still being a bully. She was still being uh, a pain in my butt. Um, yep. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video uh, and the information. I left some information down below so you could check out my local Humane Society and um, of Harningen. And... Thank you. Bye. Till next time.